Okay, we're here at the beautiful Redwood Rest Resort in Northern California to record a first ever event in the Volker family history. Backs up a little bit for you. I imagine that it's recording sound as we speak. Huh? Did you press the button? There's Deborah. Hey, yeah. Smile, Bonnie. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter will tell you I'm totally camera shut. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> what did she say? Yeah, I will. Nice. So what we really needed was a microphone, because those don't... You know, if just one person's talking, they'll pick up their hands. Gotta let the shoe do it all. Yeah. Well, that's better than really. Horseshoes. Well, that was just flat. There's Bud. I think we got about 10 feet too far. First, <laughs> yeah, you're 39 feet. Yeah. What's that? You get me well, no colors yet. <laughs> By the way, it looked like it looked like this. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Oh. Let's grab one step. <laughs> Looking for team, I guess. Somebody's had some
<laughs> decided to do was talk to each of, of the children in the family and have a, an interview with just them by themselves. And our original plan had been to start with the oldest child and uh, then go down the line. Well, guess what Nell decided to do? She decided to go off to town on a dental emergency. <laughs> well, we told her she's not going to get out of it. We'll just put her last in line. So um, my dad is, is the next person, and uh, he brought some information today that he's going to talk to us about. And uh, I think first he, he wants to talk about the, uh, the fire. Well, that was one of the uh, high spots of life there. Not a happy, it was not a, a happy disaster, time. actually. The uh, whole farm, buildings and all burned up in 1936. And uh, as far as that, I think that was probably the biggest thing that's happened all the time. Yeah, it looked like, from, I read this article, that, that uh, it was very widespread there. There were many, many, many acres involved. It was a very dry summer in, in all northern Wisconsin. About 35 miles long and uh, 15 miles wide. Oh, my gosh. But also but, tell, tell them about the, uh, the wonderful cedar tree. Yeah, the Hen Cedar Farm? Yeah. yeah well, cedar tree. That, that survived the uh, inferno. Can you imagine that? And uh, still, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Grandma Hooker nursed that along with the water after she had washed and scrubbed and then you know, it went on the you know i remember that i remember mm -hmm. her emptying the the wash water right, right. after it's been kept yeah. good food going. Yeah. It's and it survived the fire right so there's many and of the that cedar tree in the barn <laughs> and the barn but yeah. everything else was gone do you think we could get a shot of this and kind of the best dad maybe can kind of but talk about it uh, the tree then is the place outside of the next house we had where many of the grandchildren played in the sand and we had tree. Now, the you're there. in this picture? Yeah. And you're in a tent. Well, that's where Russ and I lived until we got the house, new house built. Where did the rest of the family live? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have they a house. They had to live somewhere. Right. Yeah. They, uh, they wanted to stay with some friends down there. As soon as they got another house, we'll get that. And this is your grandfather over here, right, John. Mm -hmm. And the article said that um, the plow, or the tractor, um, was intact except for the the wooden. Yeah, uh, something to do with the wheels, I guess. Uh, but, wooden uh, wheels. The wooden parts of the wheel. Yeah. The, the rest of it was. Uh, they uh, fix it up and use it again. But uh, then, of course, uh, our school, I thought that was... Yes, talk, but we should, Gil should talk a little bit about the, the school. Uh, young kids don't know about schools like this. The grandfather gave the land for the school. And then uh, most of the time, it's just the bulk of kids that went there. So through the first school. And we about two blocks from here? Yeah. So you always went home with the land? It's just, you know, here. <laughs> right well, at the edge of the farm. You donated, you donated the land and then the what? The well, the, the neighbors come in and go to oh. school. You know, they used to do things like that. Yeah. yeah. One room school, and the teacher then stayed with your family. Mm -hmm. So you got, <laughs> you never got away from the teacher. Right. <laughs> you got a little extra help. Three meals a day, she was there. And that was, was that her pay, or? Uh, I think they made a hundred a month and they had a good home. They had good home. My gosh. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess teachers so, aren't so badly paid. Right. Yeah. So that's, um... Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of things. Uh, a band that uh, we had at one time. Was, uh, oh, your band! Do yeah. you have pictures of that? There's a picture in here somewhere. Spend uh, many hours a week practicing. Until we got a radio. Who was in it? Who was, everybody was in it? Well, the younger guy in the picture. Yeah, these are the place they used to be in There's Nell and you and, and Of course, not Jess and Dale. That was before Jess and Dale's time. 
So what did you play, Dad? Well, the accordion and the drums. You played the accordion? Yeah, he played the accordion and the drums. Yeah, we went uh, all over the uh, area playing the dance. So, yeah, it was uh, good recreation, actually. Living that far away. But then why didn't you, you get tired of playing in the band, though? Well, yeah. It was more fun on the other side. <laughs> Get a little dancing in instead of playing. Yeah, that was, instead of being that was the end of that. playing all the time. <laughs> you know, a lot of these people that uh, they're lucky to have pictures on. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a nice picture. Well, Anything else you'd like to know? This is certainly nice to have all of your brothers and sisters here for this reunion. Uh, it's got seven, you know, the three, all the three boys. And it's a lifetime. Get them all together. Okay, well, thanks a lot. That was painless, right? And now you were first, so you got it over there. Next one in line here today, and this is Jerry with her, everybody knows. And we're just going to sit and chat about some of the fun times way back when. All right. Right. What's what's one yeah. thing that you What did? I remember the most is just a lot of space to rip around. Run rip around. around. Yeah. Rip and around. ride horseback. Well, of course a long time before we ever close to them, but you know, sneak them out of the pasture and <laughs> feel potatoes on their backs and they burn on. We had a lot. And then the snow in the winter time when we skied behind the horse. You skied behind the horse? Oh yeah, we put the rope on the on the horse's saddle and then oh, right. grab the rope and go flying down the road. It was fun. And then when that got boring, we we kicked it to the car. Well, Dad sort of put his. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids do that <laughs> now. Yeah. Well, uh, anyway. And the conductor said, walking down the aisle to us. Eons, it is going to be 54 below zero when you get off. That's when you came your, to see at it. At your stop. That's when 54 recording. below zero. And you better hold your hands over your ears because you're going to lose them. You're going to be walking on them because they'll no. freeze right off. No. 54 below zero. Yeah. And I'm from Milwaukee. <laughs> that's when he came and up to see me, you know. That's when you were recording. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I well, we, went up to see we met at a fish fry. They mm -hmm. had a few clear lakes. You met at a fish fry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When Nell and Jim came up and were walking. And, uh, we met each other. That's you can tell. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah. See what you started? Yeah, these city guys, you know, they're slick. <laughs> city guys are slick. <laughs> But anyway, what I I think it was ideal to raise kids. We didn't have that fear that kids have today. Somebody ripping off yeah. the roof and sneaking out. Yeah. And uh, made me think of it when we, our son was warning Darlene to be sure and stay with the crowd to when they're all. You know, when they're that age, you can tell them when they're little, you can't. But we didn't have to worry about this. <laughs> but, uh, then mom's right strong right arm kept us in pretty good uh, straight line as good as she could handle the great kids you know the firm person yeah she was the firm one. she had the daddy's work in it. And, uh, always brought home the bacon but she was the one that had to handle the kids so you made a mind or you were nice you know well oh, sure <laughs> Or well, else there's did. some things you didn't <laughs> find out. Yeah, about. that's right. <laughs> but like riding the horses. Oh yeah, we we, we uh, didn't. We were smart enough not to take the old rider. We'd sneak on the bits, you know, and then we tied ropes to them. <laughs> we rode barebacks with the heck. We'd let down the fences, lay them flat, and put the horses across. And uh, then after Dad found out, I mean not Dad, but. Uh, Bert says, I'm going to tell you folks. Well, of course, Mom wouldn't spank Bert because he wasn't her own kid. Ah. So uh, I says, well, you can go in and tell her I'm not going to. What? So she did. She went in and she says, Mrs. Walker, she says, I got something to tell you. 
Yeah, but first you gotta promise not to get mad. <laughs> she had a good way with her. Mom said, no, I can't do that. Bert said, well, if you don't, I can't tell you. And so Mom's curiosity, she knew something was up. <laughs> you know, so she finally says, okay, I won't get mad. So, so and Bert says, and I broke the horses. And uh, Mom says, will you tell Daddy tonight? Well, I wasn't scared to tell Dad, because he never gave us spankings. <laughs> <laughs> and when we told Dad, he was glad. He was? Yeah, he was glad. As long as we hadn't gotten killed. Well, you know, as long as you didn't get killed. Yeah, yeah. He didn't care. My granddad had a hemorrhage, but that didn't matter anyway. But uh, Dad, he was glad. And after that, we had a man. But we'd, uh, you ask him the literature there about what teacher he preferred. Oh, the teacher. I think Anne. That's pretty good. Anne, uh, and also Eva Johnson. Uh, I, Eva Johnson, I, I really cared a lot about because we could, she'd send us out to pick weeds for our agriculture notebooks, you know, in fifth, sixth grade. Well, weeds aren't hard to find. <laughs> she'd wow. give us a whole hour. <laughs> you know what Bert and I did? <laughs> we sneaked the horses out. And we could grab some weeds on the way back. She never found out. No. Well, you know, they boarded the folks, the teachers did. So they did. did. Oh, yes. And so if anything go wrong at school, well, <laughs> folks would hear about it. <laughs> and in the school, they had a little alcove, one bookcase here, one bookcase here, a little passageway here. And if you were bad, you sat there. Kind of like in the corner. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Bert crawled out the window one time when she was sitting in it. And she... Out the window? Yeah. We didn't dare to pull that crap. You know, we knew better than that. <laughs> but she didn't. She got away with it because Mom wouldn't spank it. Somebody else's kid. Mm -hmm. But we had a lot of fun with this. I do. You know, I talk my like 10 minutes. <laughs> I think she's done a great job. Thanks, you guys. That was painless, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like talking. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know what anybody else has had to say, but I, rather than talk about my brothers and sisters, I thought I would talk about my parents and how I pictured them, how I associate with them. And uh, so I'll start with Dad. And the Dad, I think, of music. Uh, because it's played such a big part in our family. And, um, uh, we would get together on Sunday nights and sing. Dad had a real good tenor voice, and uh, we had lots of sing-alongs every time the family gets together, as we all know. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and uh, I, one thing I can remember is that we used to, they used to take care of him when he was little, and um, if he didn't want to go to sleep at night, Dad would play the violin, okay. and uh, Mother would pour it on the And possibly they did that for you, too, when you were, oh, yeah, you. When you were little. So then I get to Mother, and I think she needs a special salute because of all the homesteading we did and how hard it must have been for them. You know, I found out one day that she had to make her own crackers. You couldn't buy them in a box. Yeah, and make her own marshmallows. You know, I knew she made her own uh, pasta. Yeah. Because I can remember the noodles. Yeah, right. That. Yeah, right. She did that. And then uh, I think it took a lot of courage to raise all three kids with very seldom having a doctor. And so today I brought the doctor book along so you can see what she had to put up with. Uh -huh. <laughs> and imagine not being able to talk to a doctor about her. She, I think that's remarkable. For me it is anyway. And then we had such long, long winters so that every time there was a, a holiday, or even if it wasn't holiday, or a birthday or something, she made such an all-out effort to, to, you know, make it interesting for us. She always had uh, shamrocks on her, napkins for Irish Day, if we were Irish or not. And uh, so to me, I thought that was really neat. And let's see, what else was I going to say? Um, then I can still see Mom and Dad after the farm burned. And we went out there, and I saw them standing out there looking at all this disaster of this fire. And here we all are, you know. And this is the home they built. Uh, for, you know, it was really something I just, it just, and I think uh, she was such, 
so in favor of family unity. And it must work, because here we all are today. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's about what I had to say about them. And I, I really had to say it. Oh, that's really uh -huh. special. Yeah. Special. That's the way I felt. Well, you should feel one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to think that my son would do that to me someday, but I'm not yes, sure he would. Sure. <laughs> So that's my tendency. Well, sure, but I, I did want to mention that um, I think Ev's idea was the instigator for this reunion, and uh, that sort of reflects what she just told her about us about her mother and, and the fact that she believed in family unity so much. And I uh, oh, then too, you know, she and her rainbow. That every rainbows are all in her life, and every time that she got down and things were tough, she would always say, well, let's go out and look for a rainbow. Oh. And the day she died, we had a rainbow. Oh, yeah. yeah, and uh, when I when I went to San Francisco and saw Jim Wolf in Vietnam, on the way home, there was a rainbow. <laughs> so, it, you know, it all ties in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's your legacy, I think. I think so. It's mm -hmm. your spirit and the things you believe in that have passed on. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Maybe me. Yeah, sure. Right. And, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I think that we all have family, uh, you know, closeness, which lots of families don't have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. Well, we just want to chat and uh, listen. You go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody knows this is V, and she's the next one up here. And I understand also that Floyd has a little story for us somewhere along the line. So uh, we're going to let you just oh, chat you. with me. All right. Well. You know, we all had a lot of fun and a lot of crazy stories out there at Long Cedar Farm. <laughs> but the funniest one, I've had a hard time trying to pick the funniest one. I should tell on Jess, because he's going to pick on me. But it seems I, I can't. Oh, you're looking at me with the camera. <laughs> I uh, think I'll um, tell the one that I, I come up with here. Um, anyhow, this makes was always smuggling these people in from the other side of the river. Which, there was a river between, in Highland, that we were absolutely not allowed to go on the other side of the river. <laughs> but Meg's always was, you know, she liked to bring them over and get them acquainted. <laughs> so she brings over. She asks this one fellow, and he brings some that was really unknown, the metallics. <laughs> well, all we ever heard, Eddie and I were terrified, you know, so if he says, what do we do? And I said, I don't know, Megs and her friend went someplace, Jerry might be listening to it. And so we decided that we had better uh, keep their hands busy. So we got off the carom board. <laughs> <laughs> and they had never played carom, and they thought this was real sport. Well, about that time when they really getting into it, the folks got home. Mom took one look at these our friends and how she knew them. I don't know because we didn't know who they were. We just knew them by that they were on the other side of the river. <laughs> so she says, the lights go out at 10 o'clock. And Evie grabs me and she said, oh my gosh, don't turn those lights off. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and she says, and we're all going to bed. <laughs> oh, no, not this. <laughs> well, the boys got the hint. Thank God they didn't take it wrong, you know. So <laughs> they left. Yeah, well, and like, but Meg's got back. With Meg's them, finally yeah. got back, yeah. <laughs> but they got there just about that time, too, you know. So, But it was scary, the whole thing. Well, in the meantime, Elois and Elder were there for the weekend, too. And on top of the stairs, looking down, is dear Elder. And he is impossible to handle at any situation. So he's sitting up there, and he's sitting. Oh, the Martins and the Coys, they were reckless mountain boys. <laughs> well, that's my story for the day, kid. <laughs> and I'm <Hey>. done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, listen here. I think you are, Dad. <laughs> I think so, too. Could be more of the ways than you know. <laughs> okay. You have one to tell on Grandma, and I don't know oh. if this is fair, because she is well, a really uh, so. Oh, I love Grandma. Oh, yeah, I they know. got along good. So he was always taking her out I liked to all a cup of coffee. I liked all the girls. They had, you know, a reputation of being real nice girls. <laughs> and, uh, 
<coughs> oh, I think Mom's kept them in mind pretty well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was courting, which is now my dear wife, sure. and uh, sure. I was going to uh, <laughs> go hunting with uh, Dad Volker and Jess uh, the next day. So uh, Mom's and was going to be real uh, resourceful, so she uh, <laughs> suggested that I bring a bull from the uh, neighbors because their cow needed attention. But she didn't want to tell me that it was a bull she wanted, so she asked me if I would bring a steer from over for their cow. <laughs> said, what in the world do you want with a steer? <laughs> <laughs> and he's never forgot that. And he kept reminding Mom of all the steer. <laughs> For Mom, it's a purple every time he mentioned it. <laughs> but I knew what she wanted anyway. So I brought the bull instead of the steer. <laughs> That's classic. I love it. <laughs> like, you know, knowing Grandma Bolter, you know, she never said a dirty word. No. And sex was something you didn't talk about. And all these things, you know. And so, you know, she, I get this crazy bull hunk on my hands. And <laughs> uh, I'm, are we still on there? I don't know. Yes, I think we are. Oh, our time. That's a long time ago. <laughs> oh, no. I lived across the river on the wrong side. <laughs> Of course, Elder come from there, too, so... Oh, he was uh, so I was later on. I think Mom's did too good a job keeping them away. <laughs> the poker girls are hard to leave alone, I guess. <laughs> well, of course. We had a reputation to take care of. <laughs> Here's okay, as everybody knows, this is Jess, and right now we were just starting to talk about uh, how he was as a child. Good. <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> Only problem was I had too many sisters. That's all. <laughs> they got me in trouble. How did they do that? I'll buy it. I'll buy Very easily. <laughs> no problem at all. You want to talk about one certain time that you can remember? Oh, it, was, it was terrible. <laughs> you were persecuted. Then, That's right. right. I was picked on. Any certain person? The time that... I was born. <laughs> Any certain person that used to do this? Oh, me. You can remember? Yeah, me, me did. Me was really bad. She was... I can't remember that. She's such a sweet person. She had to kill me half a dozen times. <laughs> Shot me in the head with a BB gun. My gosh. You're kidding. Fell off the trapeze. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. <laughs> How long is this supposed to go on? Oh, we, we can keep going for a while. Oh, I, I understand okay. that you... Uh, had a hanging experience? Oh, yeah, she tried to hang. Is that right? I, I didn't understand <laughs> it was her that did all these things. <laughs> yeah, the older ones sick to that. Uh, what else would you like to talk about? <laughs> Says picking up just one second. Well, that's the question of what I was going to talk about. But, uh, <laughs> I figured this is a conspiracy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I don't know what else. Uh, how about just the, some of the fun things you might have done? As far as around. Oh, I'm going to stay in town for now. There's no doubt. Nine miles. Nine miles. Nine miles. Oh, of course, we should stop. Oh, boy. Too good Too anyway. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a hunter? Were you part of that group? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. Okay. Matter. Survival? Survival. Yeah. About a year a week. That's what I hear. Even if it wasn't hunting season. Uh, didn't make much difference. Oh, we got Nell back from the dentist. And uh, she didn't get out of the video, as you can see. And so we're going to chat together about a few things that she remembers about Grandma. Yes, I remember Grandma closing school on all holidays to bring us a party in a little basket in her 
with the cookies and the cupcakes you made and decorated for St. Valentine's Day, of course, and Patrick's Day, and how she taught us kids to respect each other's rooms, because we were a little proud of the time. And one part was yours and one part was the other one, so we did not cross the line. That's all there was to it. Of course, you snuck once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> So it was fun. And, uh, and uh, you know, when you have such a big family, Mom started running out of names when Bailey came along. So she said, Name him now. And as long as I was taking care of it, I thought he'd make a real cute forest ranger when he grew up. So I, I just read a book about that and I decided his name should be Dale Henry Walker. And of course, Henry was my dad's name. So picked up the good cute little Dale name and Daddy's name and he was a bull. <laughs> turned out to be a real sweetie, like all my kids I raised, which I practically did. Did it, you? But, How many? How well all the boys. All the boys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember raising the girls, but I took them to Milwaukee <laughs> to see if they wanted to work, you know. And they all did, except me. She didn't want to, so she came back to the farm. I told her she could stay there if she got married. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she did. <laughs> and uh, outside of that, uh, I used to go to dancing with my dad. Mother let us go with daddy, but she wouldn't let us go with boys. <laughs> That's the story I wanted you to tell. <laughs> and so if we promised to dance the waltzes with my dad, he'd take us to the dancing. So he did, and the latest I was ever out in those days was with my father when he had a skunk on the highway and we had to change a flat tire, which took a little while for him to get up enough courage to finish the job. <laughs> we got home, it was five o'clock in the morning, mother was ready to kill us all. <laughs> she couldn't imagine what we were doing and we tried to explain it, she didn't want to hear it. <laughs> no excuses, even no if excuses. it was that. No, no, that was the latest I ever stayed out in my life with any boy up to that point. <laughs> After that, it was a little different. different yeah. yeah. But I still remember dancing with my dad. He was a great dancer. He was also a great skier. Whether he broke his neck or not, Nell was going to ski with him. So we went skating. And all we had were clamp on skates, you know. And he said, now don't worry, all you do is stand up here. Well, here I am, <laughs> wobbling away. <laughs> and he said, don't worry, I'll catch you. After three times I sat on him, he said, I think we'll give us something to ski. <laughs> he said, we'll waltz our life away instead of do this on ski. Uh, or skis, or whatever. I ski better than I ski. Sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Three times a week, go get the mail. <laughs> At Bingo, Wisconsin, of all places. Bingo. Bingo. It's a little place alongside the road, about eight miles from home. And then we played with the wolves on the way back. And those were quite prominent things around the Lucia Farm. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Coyotes, you know. One night the kids were out skiing in moonlight and we built caves out in the field. The snow was so high. We could walk in the caves so we dug them up. But we didn't know the wolves had moved in and they made nests in there. So we chased chase them out, you know. But this one night they picked up a timber wolf. And there was a whole pack of coyotes behind the wolf in the hill ahead. So we were, we were close. They were on the back of my skis, I remember. And Dad heard him howling. He knew it wasn't good. So he came out with a gun and shot it straight up near him. And he brought us in the house to go to bed. That bed took us upstairs. He said, I want to read your bedtime story before we try to go to sleep. And it was a boy's world about two little kids that played with the wolf like we did and got freed by them. And they didn't get found for two days and they were first today. And he said, good night, sleep tight, and went downstairs. Oh, <laughs> fun! <laughs> that was the end of that. <laughs> no more wolf play, you know. And I grew up, I preferred the wolves to what I ran into on the street. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, get that covered. Oh, my name. Yeah, yeah, your name. Yeah, yeah. Mom wanted all of her girls' names to start with E. So there was Elias, and I came along, and she wanted to call me Mildred, but she decided she wanted to call me Elmer too. So 
so as long as I was to have an E for a person who was excited to call me out, it was after uh, she had taken care of a little girl that the banker's wife did, and she had taken care of it before she got married, and she loved that child so much, she said, call me out. So I was named after banker's daughter. Uh -huh. <laughs> And yes, it could be. So outside of that, there's lots of things. Well, what happened uh, when someone asked you what was going to happen to your hair when you got old? This lady that used to have flaming red hair. Well, I don't have to be a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that was my dad that told you it was going to turn pink. Oh, that. <laughs> I never said it would turn pink. Ah, oh, it was my dad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told that story. That's all right. That's all right. Thanks for a nice color. Um, but I like the color you have. Well, my mother didn't like my red hair. They kill you because when you were out in Portland, she said, I'm losing my red hair. You're not a redhead anymore. I said, Mom, you didn't look red hair. Well, she says, I can't lose my one and only redhead. And so she walked up to the drugstore and got a red rib. My gosh. And to please my mother, I put it in, and I knew better, you know, I knew it would be terrible. So I put it in, and I washed it ten times that day. She said she was sorry she didn't want to turn out like that, but I had to be good at the other She really did want one, huh? She, I mean, yeah, she didn't want it not to be, she <laughs> kind of liked that. <laughs> Although it wasn't her idea of having a child with her baby. Yeah, I was a pet joy, you well, know. <laughs> I used to tease her about it. <laughs> I told you I teased you and I figured have that on tape. <laughs> well, we'll save that for we'll a little bit. We'll save that for another <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's about it, I think. Well, our head is... Oh, I, I think wow. it's great. Are you having a good time? I'm having a wonderful time. We are so glad because up until the last minute, we did not think that she was going to make this. Yes, I'm so glad that you did. I wouldn't be right without you. Oh, I can't let that happen. We saved the youngest for last. The best. <laughs> and the best. Everybody knows this is Dale. And what we thought we'd do is just kind of go down the list that we all have been looking at for a couple days and uh, just kind of convince about some of the questions until we get tired of it. <laughs> Um, the first one says, talk about your name. My name is Dale. <laughs> You're not going to get much. <laughs> uh, what, what, do you know what it means? Or, do you know who my name is? I don't know. It, when somebody says Dale, I respond. That's what I know. <laughs> I know. What it means? <laughs> I know where you got your name. When you were born, Nell was reading a western book about a cowboy named Dale Henry. And she named you. Oh. Your name for a cowboy. Your name for a cowboy. No, you How about something. that? <laughs> I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Where were you born? Do you remember? I think I was born under a tree in a swamp. Huh? Actually, and, uh, I was born in a Would you like to tell us more about that? <laughs> <laughs> kind of messy, I guess. The whole scene was. It was I was actually born in a swamp. One of the few. That were born in the hospital. Was born in uh, the St. Mary's Hospital in uh, Superior, Wisconsin. August, I mean, April 26, 1932. Uh, which proves he's the baby. Uh, do you know anything about your family background as far as where the original people came from? Well, I guess uh, great grandfather came from Germany. I've heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard that a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a lot today, but I've heard that. I, when I was in Germany, stationed in Germany, I, people always immediately heard the name Walter that I talked to in Germany, which I couldn't understand. <laughs> but it seems as though probably the family originated somewhere around there. Possibly east of the East pretty normal or popular name in that area. Where it was in the Where it was. And then they came over here somehow. Well, the granddad, I believe, was born on the way over here. 
My grandfather. I think he was born was either he or his brother was born on the boat. And they came to Canada first. And then they came to the United States. Oh, come on. Um, you want to talk about what your parents were like? Anything that you remember special about them? Something they especially liked to do? Well, they were always busy. Hard workers. They would have loved this. <laughs> oh. And, uh, probably didn't have a whole lot of time for the, uh, the you know, life, taking life easy. I don't think they ever did that. I guess they tried to uh, instill in all of us uh, to behave ourselves. You? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to laugh. <laughs> Do that sometimes. <laughs> That's a nice value. Yeah, catch one more. Uh, can you remember what you were like as a child? Perfect angel. Yeah, I was pretty angel angelic. <laughs> angelic. I was uh, I'm very smart. <laughs> Everybody loved me. That's true. Was, you know, they, we did. How could how could they not? <laughs> We played with all his toys, don't you remember? Of course, this is only what I'm told, and you can't believe everything you've been told. But it's probably right. I'm sure. I mean, if we're seeing it on television here. You you might guess seeing is believing, right? right? Uh, you went to school in uh, Syria? No. Well, yeah. I went to five different high, school? five different high schools for four years. Can you talk about that? Well, it was kind of a drag, you know. Because you were moving around a lot in the high school, although we were pretty much in the same area. First, the first uh, high school I went to was in Pool, where I went to grade school. And uh, the next one was Iron River, right there for my sophomore year. And then we went to uh, Northwestern High School in Maple. Part of that time, I went to Dad Sick. We moved to Superior one minute, so that's when I went to uh, Central High in Superior for two months. Then I was back to Northwestern, and then when the folks retired, we went to Florida, and I went to uh, Winter Garden High School in Florida for about three months. Then I went back to Northern Wisconsin and graduated from Northwestern in 1951. Yeah, well, I appreciated high school because uh, between my eighth grade and my freshman year, uh, they didn't provide transportation, so I was out one year. And I didn't know if I was going to get a chance to go to high school. So when I did go back to school, I probably worked harder than I would have otherwise. And I had, my grades were pretty bad, even though it all moving around. Maintain a pretty good grade average. I guess probably, I don't know, science, I guess, and uh, I like history, math, so it's, I kind of like all that. Oh, well, you already talked about your favorite subjects, favorite teacher, probably. Yeah, the teacher, I guess, are. The teacher I remember most, in, probably in high school, was uh, he was a history teacher, and uh, we had our reunion in the 30th reunion, and he was he came to the 30th reunion, and uh, he was a pretty neat person. He made history history. The man could not spell; he could already spell his own name, I think. And he'd write something on the board. He'd always ask the class how to spell whatever. <laughs> Whether it was whether or not maybe it made each class probably could spell better. Than each class. <laughs> it was one his way of getting things across. Very interesting person. You remember that? He was at a. Was there any 
special story about your childhood that you'd like to tell is that when times you got my feet caught in the spokes of your bike? <laughs> well, I can't help where you put your feet. <laughs> you usually put it in your mouth, I think. <laughs> Other than that, he wasn't a bad uncle. <laughs> and I just heard Gary in the background a while ago saying we used to play with you. You were a little bit closer to our ages, so yeah. I think we did have some of us that were younger. <laughs> younger. <laughs> Had a little more uh, t a chance to know you probably more than you. Yeah, you're kind of like a sister. <laughs> rather than a niece. You were closer in age. Any other stories that you can remember? Well, there's probably a lot of them, but I uh, probably shouldn't put them on tape. I might be held liable. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember one time when we were playing. We used to, uh, when the parents would leave, uh, when we would go out and we would, the older kids would try to get us to ride all the animals on the farm. And we would ride, try to ride cows and go horses. That was no big the, probably the most difficult animal to ride is a pig. And they <laughs> I think Jess was. Go ahead, Jess and V were probably instigators of that one. I and one time, they promoted mine. One time we were playing, we were playing on top of a, a stack of straw we had out there in the, in the barnyard. We were all up on top of that stack of straw. And somehow or other, I wound up. Falling off of that, whether I was pushed or thrown, I don't remember. <laughs> and I landed on top of a cow. <laughs> I made it, I think we made about three trips around that haystack there before I finally got thrown off. <laughs> I still don't know which one of them pushed me. I'm sure one of them did. <laughs> and it was, that was just the, heavy was, uh, she, she didn't have. get into that, no, that rough housing. And V used to. She used to uh, make, I don't know where she got these weird ideas, but she used to make <laughs> all of these trapezes and uh, swings and whatnot. Fortunately, I was younger, Jessica, the blood of that was the, uh, used to have to try out all of her creations. <laughs> I remember one time, he was, uh, we had the front end of a, <laughs> it was the front end of a wagon, I guess, an old kind of horses truck and at just the front end, and the thing has just the two wheels and then the axle and, and the thing that turned, you know, the turntable thing. And somehow or other, she made up a box type thing, and we were going to pull, them, pull each other out this ground on this wagon. The wagon was a you know, big, wooden oh wheel. And uh, so she got Jess on that, sitting in that box thing, you know, it was like a seat. And when he sat down on it, the thing flipped over, flipped all the way over, and it hit him in the head, that he knocked him out. And I'm not sure if he ever recovered from that one. <laughs> <laughs> we also used to uh, play in the hay barn, you know, and uh, we'd get out there and swing it, and uh, drop into the hay and whatnot. Uh, we had an old, old uh, teacher, an old Valentine, <laughs> Valentine Zygmunt was her name, and she was a real bitch. You know? <laughs> and she, uh, she used to uh, try to uh, watch us, you know, and hope for a while. But, uh, she she really, lot. really didn't want us at all. Well, that was another one that we used to, we had just got that one too. And, uh, used to string ropes across the path for her, you know, so that when she went out to the little the back house, we didn't have to put anything. So, and whatever it was, five, seven rooms in the path. You know, right, they'd string ropes across there at night so that she would trip and fall. Uh, <laughs> and she used to... Uh, who who had the unfortunate <laughs> thing of having to live at your house? She used to uh, eat butter. Jobs of butter. That's sweet. One time, I don't know if it was chess or beans or something. They cooked the, the butter. Her mother always had to put a, a cube of butter by her plate. She wanted this certain amount, large amount of butter. Was she a chubby little thing? I don't remember that much about her. That was kind of a little bit. 
but they cut that butter and it hollows out and you notice know, it's Oh my goodness. And uh, oh. needless to say, she didn't make that too much. <laughs> well, anyway, this one time she was, the folks were gone, we were out there swinging around in the barn, and I guess she figured we were up to no good. So I don't know why, but we always behaved ourselves real well. Anyway, she, we kept an eye out for her, and we could we could spy on her, and we knew that she was coming. So we were raised in all kinds of abilities and all kinds of stuff. She came into, into the hay barn down below, and we were up above. So we slid down the outside of the hay barn, and we locked her in the hay barn. And we didn't let her out until we heard the folks coming in the car. She never told her parents about it. My gosh! My mother could under, never understand why she moved. <laughs> <laughs> she went to live with a nicer family. <laughs> she went and stayed with Tollis. <laughs> I think she had a crush on the old man Tollis. <laughs> How are you doing? Wow. It's wonderful. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Hardly any trouble at all. <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot of thanks to give to this couple for giving us a lot of a lot of fun this weekend and putting in a lot of hard work. They're the prime movers for this. That's the rural town, yeah. That's the major, major floodlights and shining to be able to be exposed. Yeah. How long does the batteries last? Um, see how it's got the heat in the end. Yeah. The little lines in between. How many lines are there? Three. So when it gets down to the last one, it's done. Is that tall? I see. Where's the tall? There we go. You did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it. You helped me. Oh, I'm sure did glad it. I, I did. You started that sitting there. Oh, you're better. <laughs> This is your brother Jess. You know, your mind's the first to go. I can't tell you. Then when I see that on the I will kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do I think we can do Well, why don't we put a big jar of water? Well, you just brought away. Now we have another jar of water. I brought these down with me. I thought maybe we could use they're just coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's Certainly glad you clarified that. <laughs> Don't put that little stuff, none of those beer cans, none of that crap, no. Hi, everybody. Hey. Everybody wave. Everybody wave. Everybody wave for the video. Hey. Hi. Hi. It's supper time. Saturdays, August. What is it? 18. 19. 19. <laughs> I'll, I'll pan the audience here. Look at all those Get a shot of how everyone eats, everyone's habit.
Hi, Deb. Get down. Get down? Why? Because. Because? Get down and boogie. The feast. The feast of the vulgar. <laughs> Just shut up your mom over there. Let's see, we have Gary, Jerry, Grandma, Dale, <laughs> Dorothy. Um, I forgot. You can name them all. And, uh, I'm getting there. There's, there's uh, Bonnie, V, Chris, and the other end of the table we have your dad, Nell, Nell, Valerie, Grandpa, Gil, <laughs> Lloyd. I can see. His I can see his name. <laughs> and then we have uh, Bud, Bud, Gary again, there's Matt, and Mark. Mom, there. Uh, Abby. And. You know, you could probably. You probably fell back. Anyways, yeah. Gary's wife. Yeah. Gary's wife. What I need is. Make a pattern. Just eggs. Oh, is that. Who's between them? That's, uh, yeah, there's a baby between them. Jessica. Oh, Jessica's pushing them. <laughs> oh, no, it's Dar Darlene. Yeah, Darlene. And Meg's and. Debbie. Debbie. And and Tatiana. T. T. <laughs> and then we got... And then there's Bree. And Jessica. <laughs> and then let's see who we have here. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> and Bree. And... Bree, look up. Say hi, Bree. Say no, hi. let go. Yeah. 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 Sunday morning. There's Jerry. I said, get your friends over here right now. <laughs> Why answering the sheep? Yeah. Why do you think it's not married? Get your fryer. <laughs> now you better be careful because he might watch this video. <laughs> well, it's his own fault. We're not going to. Is your jeep in here? Yep, it's running. It's running? There's Dorothy. <laughs> I'm the only official person who wore her t-shirt today. Yeah, I think she has people have it on. Is that yours? Oh, huh. That's your name, that's your son. Oh, okay. All right, that's yours. Well, you can see in the mirror. <laughs> I can see myself in there. <laughs> Good marshmallows. I know. The breakfast was good. Downwind, you're also getting all the heat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I think it's take your part too. Nothing right now. I'm not showing you people anything else. You see that thing moving every time it turns. Zooming in and out. Yep. Yeah. What is that? She didn't know what it was. What a hell of a video. Your sweat yeah. Your yeah. Yeah. Hold that metal on there. No, it's getting wetter. Get? <laughs> it's getting wetter. Yeah. I thought you said better. Wetter. No. You look up and you can see it. it's really raining if you look at it. 
we have what? The camera. Yeah. Ah. And the, and the gears are working. Uh-huh. The power on it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got it. These are a little bit like the cameras that they had a long time ago, aren't they? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very much like it. Yeah, you guys can see it. Well, it wasn't electronic like that thing is. Uh-huh. What do you think of this reunion? I think it's wonderful. Great. I wish it would come about every four months. Every four months. Instead of every 50 years, it almost seems like. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, this, this is terrific. It really is. Well, it's been a fun time. There's Dale. He's coming up behind me, huh? I've got three uh, shirts under it. Well, well, Stacy, I feel like I'm not going to ignore. I'll just do one later at a time and make it sound really interesting. <laughs> to my shirt. Darlene, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Darlene? I heard 
What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I'm coloring too. We gotta show you and get your breath, you know. Uh huh. No breather. We wouldn't get tired of each other that way. Why, sure. We got a battery light here. Can't we find uh, some place closer to Florida for the next day? <laughs> if we're going to do it every morning. Closer to Florida. In the summer? In the summer? It's nicer down there now than it is. In the summer? In the summer? How did it rain? It's all. It's real nice. We haven't had a hundred points. <laughs> so, when we were over at the beach, every 98, 99. Uh-uh. Right? Yeah, I know it was 10. Yeah, I know it was 10. Yeah, I know it was 10. You were seeing more of the beach. Oh, you want to see my... I'm a walker. Come on. Come on. Okay. Just wanted him to know that I don't I think I'd want to be camping in Florida in my tent, I'll tell you. No, that's not. <laughs> Chasing water boxes and rattlesnakes and alligators. Uh, <laughs> you guys make a sound right down terrible. <laughs> that's well. nothing like this. <laughs> that's what I said. That's a good place. Holy Spirit, sure. <laughs> and if there's a tornado, we still got the dugout. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be fun. I mean, I mean, Brianna, do you want to get on yonder? Here's a brother. Here's a sister. There's another sister. Where's the bad one? Why is it over here someplace? No, no, you don't. How far? Where's Jeff? I think they want you up there on the side of the chair. Yeah, they want us to go up there. Uncle Jeff. 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 Pictures over there. We need Uncle Jeff too. They probably need on that uh, video here. Yeah. This group when they get together here too. <laughs> yeah, we're a tough bunch, aren't we? <laughs> we are going to have you tons of matching pink rags at home. I'll find some use for them anyhow. All right, if you don't want to wear it, hold it. What do you need? Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Dot, forget it. That's our own. We'll share this one. We'll both be at it. This is the original set. Very good. Yeah. Right. I thought you were trying to figure yeah. this out. Yeah. 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 Meg, I can't keep on that trench. You're looking at it. Megsy, take your jacket off. Dad, you gotta take your jacket off. Don't take your jacket off. I thought we were going to get away with you. Why don't you? Uh, I'll wait. Nobody's listening. Hey guys, wait. Since this, since this is a family. Oh, yeah, we got a moving one over here. Oh, we got to have them save their ages. <laughs> You're not going to get that. Yeah, I'm afraid that'd have to be a private thing, huh? Get out there.
Get out there. You're part of the family, bud. I'm going to go take Go for it, Mark. before everybody gets out of here today. And this is Shelly and Glenn, and they're from Washout Road, New York. And they're gonna just talk about some family remembrances that they have, and maybe catch us up on how they got here in the first place. Um, I remember a few stories. Um, Stacy, my niece, reminded me of one this afternoon regarding how my mom was trying to learn how to bake cream puffs. Well, it was when Grandma and Grandpa Walker were probably in Superior, so the kids had the house to themselves, and Uncle Gil said that he would eat all the failures. And you have to remember, they were cooking on a wood-burning stove, my mother had never tried to cook basically too much in her life, and so all of them came out hard as hockey pucks, and poor Uncle Gil, true to his word, sat there and ate every single one, and I asked him about it, and he says, you know, I never have liked green pucks. <laughs> There must be a reason for that. <laughs> and the only other thing I really wanted to say is that um, I was told a story from here again from my mom regarding my great-great-grandmother and the fact that she came from uh, New Boston, New Hampshire. And upon talking to a couple of other family members, no one seems to remember that. So perhaps we can all get together and try and trace it down so we know where our family came from. Uh, besides that, Glenn and I have been married 10 years. Um, I remember most of my childhood memories of this part of the family is at Thanksgiving. And how much fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're not recording yet, right? No. Good. Because <laughs> we're planning here. No? <laughs> what do you think? Well... I don't know. <laughs> How about uh, uh, any special uh, family grouping in California that you would really jump out at me? Like. One that's special. <laughs> you want to really talk about? No? <laughs> oh, like talk about the reunion? Well, if you want to talk about that, or if you want to talk about like one of the Thanksgivings, or, or how um. you've enjoyed. A lot of times. Speed trip over uh, the sisters. That's nice. Get together at your place. Yeah. Oh, this, those were all mini me. Yeah. This is Valerie. Okay. Well, we'll start with your wedding and then we'll say talk about me. Okay. Okay. I'll help you. <coughs> okay. We're ready. Okay. Th this Let's is. Uh, what, ready? Yeah. Okay. This is Mike and Terry, as we all know. 
and uh, they are about to become husband and wife, and they're getting married. Well, I'll let them tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah, well, uh, we're getting married in uh, about three weeks now. Going to Hawaii. It's going to be uh, pretty good. Enjoy the vacation. Get married to this uh, little honey here. <laughs> 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 and, uh, you know, it's a pretty good family reunion. We're having a good time. Seen a lot of people I've seen for a long time. And uh, that's my story. <laughs> Terry? <laughs> Terry! <laughs> Uh, well, where are you getting married? Maui, Hawaii. <laughs> getting married in Maui, and how long are you going to do that? Just a week. And you're going to have a huge, expensive wedding? Or just no, a private just a small in wedding with Dale and Dorothy. Private in mm -hmm. and Outside. then And the party will be afterwards where? In our suite. <laughs> <laughs> At MBC Suite. Uh-huh, and then they're going to have a reception, I understand. Oh yeah, it's the San Pedro Park in Pacific Northwest. Uh-huh. That's uh, October 15th. You're all invited. All right. Yes, I heard that. <laughs> Y'all may come. <laughs> Hope you do. Uh -huh. Mike and I were just chatting about some of the mini reunions we've had um, at his parents' house. We need to talk about that a little bit. Oh yeah, uh, a lot of uh, mini reunions. Not as a lot of them, but mini as in small. M-I-N. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I uh, saw a lot of the uh, family and uh, had some family sing-alongs and uh, that was pretty nice. I'm going to talk to Bonnie and Kim and this will be the last time we'll chat with someone. So Bonnie and I were just talking about um, discussing the impressions of what's gone on the last couple days and uh, what fun we've had. We won't tell it all, but we'll tell <laughs> just a little bit about how we feel about what went on and Kim's going to chime in whenever he feels like it. Okay, I think we one learned that we haven't seen each other, all of us, in a long time, and we still get along, which I think That's is really, amazing. really, really interesting. <laughs> it is. Uh, I think it is. It's the first time and I ever saw all of us. Yes, it's been so many people. Kim's yeah. met people spottedly through the years, and of course, poor Stacy, she's never <laughs> met any. So she's, yeah, she feels like she's found a whole new family, and they've been very welcoming, oh, very familiar. And Sally just said, why haven't I ever met you before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gosh, you know, that's what's happening. That, that, I think that's what's getting us all kind of excited about it, that uh, we age, naturally. and uh, Unfortunately. But uh, we still all have the same feelings that we had years ago as kids. And it kind of brought some things up for all of us. Yeah. I was reminding Sharon the other day about Christmas at Golden Cedar, and we never saw the tree until Christmas morning, and it was covered with a sheet, and everybody ate breakfast first. Yes. <laughs> the whole bunch. And then the younger ones got to do the dishes, and then we got to see the Christmas tree. And, and that when you always to me. Up, yeah. I remembered it, and I hadn't remembered about the sheet before that. Through the years, that that thought has really held me how special Christmas was there. It always was. And Grandma always made such a to do about it. And uh, I was one of the lucky ones. I had the Danielsons who were Scandinavian, and we had it on Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I got two Christmas. So, and I think Kim's learned that I didn't come from a family big. I put up with his family for 20 years now, 35 years. <laughs> Did you know them before we got married? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they sure met us after we got married. But it, it's good for us all to get together. I really do. That. Yeah. And I hope we can do it again. And I hope we can too. Let I some of us, out, some of the others of us, help in the planning this time. We all don't have it on yourself. Well, this this reunion has been exactly right in terms of length. Uh -huh. If it were any longer it'd be a little too long. too long. If it were any shorter, it wouldn't have been long enough. This One is, day isn't long enough. No, no. no. This is, no, this, is, this has been thoroughly enjoyable. I, I feel that way, too. For, for me, it's like, you know, it's just long enough for us to get to know each other, but not long enough to, you know, have a lot of oh. tiring things come up. That we and I think we've all had just a real good time. I think we all have, too. Well, what can we say? It's yeah. been a great one. It's been a nice time. And we've all enjoyed getting to know each other. And I don't such think, a beautiful setting. I'm sure everybody remembers that these people are away from Texas. And that's <laughs> something that 
you know, those of us that did some of the planning didn't have that for our travel. So their effort has been great, too. We've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Floridans here. Yes. They're from further yet. From New York. New Yorkers. It's been great. It really has. Well, this was fun. We enjoyed it, and we're going to uh, uh, show a few more scenes of what happens toward the end of this. And then we'll say goodbye until five years or so later. Okay, Can that wasn't rewind painful. That it's going. Jeff, when we face traffic or a crowded uh, situation.